Hey again, it's Josh with Cohen Cosplay. I'm actually going to start doing video logs, so that way you guys can build with me as I go along. Um, I used to build a full project and go, boop, there's your templates, this is what I did. I'm going to kind of reverse that right now. Everything that I do, as soon as I release something, I'm going to try to go through each step, each stage. If it's arms and legs, I'll try to piece stuff together so you guys can follow along if you want to build it. I'm going to give you the stuff that I run into and tips and tricks insert all that in any video. So hopefully you follow along, hopefully you want to learn, but um, I'm going to start breaking into this stuff. Okay, before I go into the tips and tricks, just so you know, the templates that you see right here, I do have them posted in a Facebook group called Pepecura Depository. I'm posting the link in the description so that way you guys can actually go to it. It's, it's literally a group where you can share anything you need as far as whatever you're building, whatever you need help with. People are just, I have good moderators on there and we all love sharing ideas. So if you have any questions or you want these templates, they're all posted in there for free. Um, just make sure you go in there, use the search function, and you'll be able to find them easily. Okay, so on this video for tips and tricks, one of the things that I have seen are people comment on seams. Um, some people, are, their seams are busting open, no matter if they're using barge cement, doesn't matter if they're using hot glue, contact cement. I used hot glue up to two and a half years ago until I moved out here, and now the only time I use hot glue is for like the undercuts. Right now, I'm using contact cement. Um, I am using the Weldwood contact cement in this little bottle right here. Um, and the thing is, though, is with your seams, when you use this stuff, it does say apply it, join the seams together, Take them apart, let it dry, put it back together, and they'll stick. But they're still busting apart. They're not holding like they should. And so you'll see that top part open up. The secret is, use a heat gun. When you do your seam, sit there, put it towards the top of the line, join them together, rub them, let them go. Heat gun both the sides, and it probably only takes about five seconds, and it will dry it out. When you put those things together, You'll be lucky if you get them apart the first time. So you have to be very careful lining them up and they're not gonna pop on you. And that seam's gonna disappear. So even if you have current works in progresses, where if you use contact cement on that spot, put it in the seam, join it up. Of course, get rid of the excess stuff. And then all you do, heat gun it, dry it. And when you push it together, It'll stick, I promise you, and you'll be able to fix your seams and you won't have any open seams and you won't be going, hey, do I use quick seal? Do I use whatever? I, I don't do any of that. I just build and go. So you usually see seams on my stuff, but they aren't open seams. They're just the lines for the filling. All right, so now I'm going to move into what I did with the files. Uh, the Batman head, I'll go into this one first. Azrael is Batman. This was posted about three years ago um, that I unfolded for foam. It was posted longer ago for paper. It's just I happened to unfold it. But um, the foam I use, I'm using 6 millimeter foam, which is, of course, quarter inch. I'm getting my stuff right now from TNT Cosplay Supply. Uh, it is, I think it's that EVA 38 is what it's using for right now. Um, but as far as the template, when you guys look at the scale, the scale that is on there right now is what I use for this. And the difference is, is when you actually put it together, it's going to be big. And the reason for that is, is this face section is small. So I had to scale the file big in order for my face to be able to fit here and the eyes to fit, which it fits perfect once it's on. But the back, I had to cut out a good probably two inches off the back, and then I had to cut off an inch off the bottom trim for the mobility and actually to fit the way it should. Um, as, if you want to add flair to stuff, what I usually do is, if you can see the undercuts, those are the hills and valleys. I actually have a video where I do the undercuts, and all that is is it's a, it's a V cut underneath where if you squash it, it's going to drop it down and there's an open cut so that way it levels it out and it gives you a little drop. That's the same thing I thought I did with the sides. So it's like if you want to add stuff to it, I recommend trying to give it a little more than what it's got so you can do something different. Um, if you guys happen to build this and add some stuff to it, please send me a picture of it so I can see what you're doing. But make sure that, you know, like I said, as far as the file, it's going to be big, but there's a reason for that and it's just because of that face section. So if you don't change the scale, it should fit. I got a 22 and a half inch head. Um, and I have room in here, which is definitely needed since it's fully sealed. Okay, so the next section is the chest. Uh, what I did was I kind of tried to shortcut this because there's a lot of sections that you're not going to see. So regular pep style, like this color part, I would have made an angle cut to make sure this met the top. I didn't. I just set it flush underneath it. 
because nobody's going to see it anyways. Same thing with this part right here. I should have made angle cuts and joined them together, but instead I just kept it flat and I just dremeled down the edges. Uh, the sides are the same way. Instead of making an angle cut and having to sit there and pinch them and make them all tight, I sandwiched them together and I just dremeled the bottom layer so that way it looks like one layer when it's sitting on top. Which you can kind of tell, hopefully from the back. You see that's all I did was when I joined it, I just sandwiched it up. I didn't sit there and go, because the back's gonna actually be covered up anyways with the cape once you lay it on back. Um, so there was definitely a couple shortcuts that I threw in there. Same thing with the points, sandwiched them up, and then I just dremeled the edges down instead of trying to you know, do the same thing as the Batman ears, trying to sit there and make tight points with it. Um, but if you guys got any questions on how I did this one either, make sure you post in the group, you know, say, hey, what did you do? I'll post detailed pictures, whatever you need. Just make sure you tag me in it. It's Josh Coleman when you see me in there. Okay, the other one is the Arkham Knight version of Azrael. There is a sideshow statue, which I kind of printed off the model of that I'm kind of I'm going off of references for. The 3D files that center pulled, they're... they're they're kind of too wonky, so I know I, the only thing I'm using is probably the mask. Everything else is going to be freehand. Um, so as far as the mask, though, when I unfold this for foam, I did all the seams toward the back just for the fact that when he puts his hood on, you're not going to see any of those. Uh, the ear pieces, I did throw undercuts in there, even though, once again, when he has that hood on, they're hardly going to be seen. So if you want to toss those in there, you can. The sideshow statue and the game kind of doesn't, they don't have this part. Um, but I kind of like it as far as the model that was ripped. So I kept that on there. All I did was sand down the edge, lift it up a little bit more so that it has that effect to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it the same style just to make sure it kind of matches. I did throw a couple undercuts right here because if you look at the model and the statue, um, you'll actually see that in the mask just to give it more definition for what it is. But this is the same thing, 6mm foam, TNT cosplay. Um, I'm going to be using most of that. If there's a different size or style of foam, I'll let you know. But if you have any questions, once again, ask in the pep group. Hit me up if you want to on Instagram, Facebook. Um, but just, if you need any help with this stuff, let me know. And whatever I'm missing in the process, let me know. But this will be a full walkthrough. I want to make sure you guys see what I do. And I hope if you have any questions, they get answered. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.